Hello and welcome. My name is Lucas Kohl. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Department of Agricultural Science at the University of Helsinki. And I work in a group of Professor Marie Pichetier. And we are studying the role of trees in the methane cycle of boreal forests. If you have heard about methane and where it's typically produced, you will be very surprised that we are interested in trees. The traditional view is that methane is only produced by certain groups of microorganisms called archaea under anoxic conditions. So in environments where we have very, very low concentrations of oxygen. Such conditions can be, for example, found in peatlands and in other soils when you're below the water table. We also find them in the stomachs of cows, in the intestines of termites, and a couple of other important environments. But we definitely wouldn't expect those in trees. However, our research is motivated by empirical measurements. If we put a chamber on the top of the soil um, and measure how the concentration of methane in the ch uh, chamber changes over time, we see that the concentration decreases, so that means that the soil takes up methane. And the reasons these soils take up methane is because when soils are oxic, so they contain oxygen, they typically host microorganisms that use methane as a fuel and oxidize methane to CO2, thereby removing CO2 from the, their environments. So we can see, as you see here indicated by the red line, that soils are typically a strong sink of methane in boreal upland forests. Uh, we can do a different type of measurements where we build a tall tower and we measure how much methane is actually moving from the forest to the atmosphere or from the atmosphere to the forest. And when we do those type of measurements, we find very different results. While the soils of boreal forests act as sinks of methane, so remove methane from the atmosphere, the forest as a whole um, is neutral, is methane neutral, so the forest does neither emit nor take up large amounts of methane. Well, that tells us that somewhere in those forests, we have a source of methane that has not been identified yet. And since we know that methane is moving into the soil, we were wondering if some, of, some methane is coming out of various surfaces on the trees, so tree stems and tree shoots. So our mission is that we want to understand the role the trees play in the global cycle of methane. Methane, of course, being an important greenhouse gas. We would like to, uh, to conduct measurements at uh, stems and shoots from trees. And then we would like to upscale these measurements to generate uh, an estimate for the role of trees in the global methane cycle for the boreal forests all around the Northern Hemisphere. So for this, we do field measurements where we measure the methane flux in and out of tree stems, in and out of tree shoots, and in and out of soils. We conduct growth chamber experiments in our greenhouse facilities at the University of Helsinki. We do microbiological analyses, and we try to develop models that mathematically describe methane production, transport, and emission. So what are the processes through which me trees can emit methane. I will introduce you to three different processes here. The first one is often called the chimney effect. As I mentioned before, soils can both produce and consume methane. They produce methane below the water table in deep soil layers where there is no oxygen. They consume methane in shallow soil layers above the water table where oxygen can reach the soil microorganisms. Um, we did an experiment where we um, partially harvested a peatland forest and compared the partial the methane fluxes from the trees that remain in the forest after the partial harvest to methane fluxes from uh, trees in a forest that was not harvested. Um, trees remove water from the soil. So if we remove trees from the landscape, the water table in the soils rise. And um, higher water table leads to more anoxic conditions. And that means the microorganisms that, like, that produce methane in soils um, have more amendable conditions and start producing more soils. And as you see in the figure on the right, we can see that compared to 
trees in control plots that have not been harvested, we see much higher methane fluxes from tree stems in plots where some of the trees have been harvested. What does this tell us? Well, if we uh, change the soil such that microorganisms in the soil produce more methane, we also see more methane coming out of the trees. Why does the methane come out of the trees? Well, trees that grow on wet sites have a problem. They need to get oxygen to the roots. And for this, they develop special tissues. We call them air enzymes. Through these tissues, the trees transport oxygen from the atmosphere through the stems and root to the root tips. But the whole thing, the whole system works also the other way around. The methane and CO2 that we find deep in the ground can move to the root tips and through the roots and the stem to the atmosphere. And that works just like a chimney on a house. And that's what we call a chimney effect. A second process that produces methane in trees happens on the other end of the trees, high up in the canopy. We know that uh, when light hits biomass leaves, needles of trees, um, it can react with the biomass and it can produce very small amounts of methane. So you can see that, for example, here in the figure, uh, which is from an experiment where we put a branch of a pine tree into one of these chambers. Um, and we measure the methane concentration in the chamber. And you can see that as long as the sun is out, the concentration of methane slowly increases. But then when a cloud comes and covers the sun, we start to see a decrease in the methane concentration. And then when the sun comes back up, we start to see it increase again. Well, what it tells us is first that these shoots, these pine shoots do produce methane. And it also tells us that it is intimately linked to the reaction of sunlight with the tree biomass. Finally, beside methane being produced in soil and exported through trees and methane produced in tree, uh, with sunlight in foliage, we also know that methane uh, is produced by microorganisms that live within trees. We know, for example, that these methane producing microorganisms, um, archaea, can be found in the hardwood of trees, in particular trees that have been infected by pathogens. Interestingly, we have found very similar microorganisms in the foliage of trees. We don't really know yet how common they are and how big of a role they play, but we are working hard to develop new methods, including captured metagenomics, that will help us solve this question. Another interesting facet is that we also find microorganisms that consume methane. We find them both in the foliage of trees and in the bark of trees. This is still very, still very new finding. Um, we clearly see the activity of these microbes, but we still have to study them more to understand how big a role they play overall. Finally, to put these things together, we try to develop models of these processes. And with those models, we try to quantify the role that these different source processes of methane play in the methane emissions from trees. Um, and we try to use that to pick apart where the methane in trees come from. Here in this simulation, for example, we are trying to understand the role of two different source processes of methane and how they affect methane emissions from tree stems. We are simulating that the roots of the tree take up methane with the water that the tree takes up. And we also simulate that methane is produced by microorganisms in the core wood of the tree. So what it gives us is a model that predicts that different amounts of methane come out of the stem at different height. Taking things together, I've been talking about three different ways through which methane is produced and exported from trees. We have the chimney effect, where soil methane is exported through the tree tissue and emitted from the tree stem. But we have photochemical reactions where methane is produced by the reaction of tree foliage with light. And we have the production of methane by microorganisms that live inside the tree. We are trying to develop models for each of these processes to understand and distinguish the processes and to understand how big of a role each of these processes plays in the methane cycle of boreal forests. Thanks for your interest in our work.